let's say you live off grid uh, you don't have power from TMB uh, I think this day you probably have a lot of power bank uh, you know to power all kind of USB uh, devices yeah uh, but let's say if your power bank or USB devices run out of juice uh, how are you gonna charge it? with the new way of doing solar and we introduce a lot of the USB uh, basically a USB device and USB power and I think the power bank these days is so easy to get and so affordable and I think a lot of you really love uh, this way of you know doing solar you know for instance like uh, you just plug in your power bank and you know uh, you will get your light and uh, things like that, like for example this case yeah. Um, but let's say if you are living off grid, uh, you always need somewhere uh, just to charge back uh, the power bank yeah. So um, using uh, you know the old solar charge controller like the uh, Gamma 2.0, you need to add in the uh, 12 VDC convert to 5 VDC USB adapter to do that yeah. So we feel that uh, this way is not so convenient and of course is you need another uh, component just to make this thing work and of course at, at, at the end there you come to the price uh, you're a bit, a bit a little bit more. So there's a reason uh, we decided to launch uh, our, our Gamma 3.0 yeah. Um, the 3.0 is nothing to shout about if you compare to the uh, all generations of uh, 2.0 Gamma uh, it will not have all the feature of the 2.0 the 2.0 actually for example the 2.0 have two timer system uh, basically timer 1 and timer 2 and the 2.0 also more emphasize on equalization charge especially those uh, using the flood battery uh, once a month or every three weeks you, do, uh, you need to do an equalization charge but for the 3.0 um, we basically drop the uh, equalization charge the reason of doing that is because uh, we feel uh, these days a lot of customers already migrate to batteries such as AGM, even lithium and now even power bank so a lot of customers probably will not use the uh, flood battery anymore but let's say if you still need to use the flood battery probably that is good to stick with the uh, 2.0 or any charge controller that with the equalization charge yeah alright but let's say if you still want to use 3.0 but don't have the power of the equalization charge but still fine yeah the, you still can use it for flood battery yeah so I'm just going to talk about a little bit about the uh, 3.0 yeah um, the design is straightforward uh, we put everything in uh, basic thing is like uh, you know 6mm square uh, cable uh, terminal so that it's easier for you to you know screw in 6mm square uh, but what is the best thing of the Gamma 3.0 actually is the USB alright uh, the USB socket or the USB where you plug in where your USB to charge your device or power your device uh, that is the only feature that uh, special in this 3.0 yeah? um, for a start uh, this guy will you know when, when you use USB is always 5 BDC uh, it's a standard no matter where you go uh, don't care whether which country you go or which area you go it's not like just like the uh, power source like if you go to America the voltage is uh, 110 yeah, VAC you go to China is 220 in Malaysia is 240 and then 50 Hertz 60 Hertz yeah but for USB uh, the best thing about USB is actually is standard no matter where you go around the world it's always 5 VDC yeah and of course the M this day I think the highest we go is about 3 M maybe we can go higher uh, but this guy actually is designed for 1.2 yeah uh, we are not gonna jack up to 2 A this kind of thing because we feel that 1.2 
a slow charge is much better than a fast charge yeah but of course uh, later I'll talk about a bit and how to teach you how to use it yeah the second point selling point of this gamma 3.0 is the timer control yeah uh, you can find a charge controller uh, with USB uh, on the market nothing to show about but most of them is the menu on off for example you press it uh, the USB power will be on some is like uh, you, you plug it in you on for, for this gamma 3.0 the speciality of this uh, product is that uh, the USB here can be controlled uh, using daylight uh, timer in other words let's say for example uh, you plug in is this uh, direct power USB light without any battery uh, if you set uh, the daylight uh, day and night timer basically uh, will come to the night time uh, the light will be on yeah the light will be on and then come to the morning time the light will be off now of course you can set a timer like for example during the night how many uh, hours I want on the light uh, then it will off the light yeah uh, we do not put in two timer uh, or due timer is because uh, a lot of feedback come back uh, basically most of them they need just one timer so this guy is do not have due timer but uh, one 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 timer only yeah um, this product actually uh, what we'll do uh, we are more emphasized on uh, the low cost leadership yeah why we're doing that is because uh, we feel that solar charge controller has been around more than uh, three decades and uh, the technology itself nothing to show about yeah so uh, if you try to emphasize of PWM but I think PWM uh, has been around for a very very long time but if you want to emphasize on some other advanced thing but I don't think anything to emphasize yeah uh, in other words I would say that the technology itself uh, is nothing to show about and this day when a lot of people are using lithium or power bank and all the controller is already built inside and uh, like for example all this battery power lighting uh, their controller everything is all built in, built in. so uh, in other words uh, the requirement of controller or solar charge controller well you know getting less and less um, um, what I'm trying to say here is actually is if you're going to build a solar charge controller and you try to sell it at a certain price I would say that it will not work anymore in this today's market is because like I said we are basing on uh, 30 30 years old technology yeah I would say that today's um, controller in order to survive uh, you need to be very affordable and you will say that you will see these days uh, those are very, very affordable uh, solar charge controller uh, it's also quite reliable yeah we believe in uh, the gamma 3.0 the third thing about this controller is uh, compared to 2.0 uh, it's half of the price, yeah, half of the price, but reliability, quality, uh, maintain the same, yeah. So uh, once you s go to our website and you check out the price, and you will be very, very happy, yeah. So it's very affordable. Uh, it's come with extensive warranty. Uh, the build quality and the performance is all there. Even the price is dropped into the half, yeah. So um, the last thing I'm gonna talk about. On um, this guy is uh, I I was uh, gonna argue that sooner or later you will have a lot of uh, you know USB uh, power device. For example, this is the USB fan. Yeah, so a lot of device like this out there uh, in the market and as well in our website Scoma. Um, you definitely were gonna use a lot of uh, this kind of device, especially your off grip. Yeah. So probably you will charge uh, with a battery bank, a 12V battery bank, uh, those we call your man. At the same time, you probably will charge another few more power bank, uh, that ones we call it the secondary. Uh, probably you also will charge some product itself that already have built-in uh, battery bank, yeah, like this and like this. These are built-in with battery bank, alright, so you can on the light. Uh, even uh, you know without the USB, yeah. This this model we call it the Volt, B O L T Volt, yeah. So uh, it's very useful. Uh, you probably take about three four hours to full charge it, and this light will probably last the whole night, yeah. So the best thing is that you know you just plug it and you just charge it, yeah. So once it fully charged, uh, 
you can use these things for the whole night, yeah. But of course, uh, here only have one uh, USB port. Yeah, we, we did not decide to build many. Um, the reason is because we want to cut the cost down. Second thing is it doesn't look nice, and you also don't have enough space to do that. So what we always recommend is out there we have uh, carry a few type of this kind of uh, port for USB, and this is the on-off switch. Yeah. So basically, if you want to charge, uh, for example, slot 1, slot 2, you just uh, press this on, yeah? So what you do is actually, uh, you can uh, easily um, plug in this guy, okay? And then, uh, yeah, you can charge or power this uh, as you go, yeah? So in terms of wiring, uh, you can get a USB cable extension, uh, I would say that you can do a plug and play that kind of thing. Uh, even you do it wrongly, uh, it will not kill you. It will not short circuit. Why? Is because it's USB. Yeah. Um, sorry guys, I, I keep emphasize on USB. A uh, new way of doing solar is because I've been doing this for so long, and uh, I know it's hard sometimes to migrate to a new technology or new new culture. But I would say that this is. Uh, the be best way to go, yeah. Because if you are layman, don't know anything about electrician, uh, uh, he's gonna use solar, and I would say that this is the best way to go. Yeah, trust me on this. Um, yeah, you can you know charge uh, a lot of thing at one go. Yeah. So uh, let's say the sun come, uh, it will. Let's say you turn this on twenty four hour. Uh, do read the user manual. Uh, the user manual is lazy. Uh, please download and read the user manual. Uh, let's say when the sun come out, you will charge the main battery. Okay, at the same time you also will charge the USB devices. Yeah. So in other words, I would say that um, the main battery can be getting smaller instead of you're gonna like last time you're gonna put a lot of big battery. You know, uh, at the end of the day, uh, you know that those. Uh, why call it those lead battery is expensive, especially come to two to three years time when you want to start to change. But with the USB kind of mindset, uh, a lot of product you sell already built in like this, built in with lithium. Uh, and of course, I don't need to show about how how affordable the power bank is. And uh, by doing that, uh, you can take a lot of weight or a lot of uh, pressure out from your main battery. Uh, move some of the charging or the battery uh, to the USB side yeah so uh, by doing so maybe you can cut down your expenditures of the uh, battery yeah so uh, you can do it this way but let's say if you want to monitor uh, what is going on uh, on the charging or which lot is still on which is not uh, recommend that you put in the you know one meter like this guys uh, with a watt meter uh, and then plug in again basically uh, you can see the voltage uh, the currents uh, let's say without the voltage and the currents uh, um, you know the voltage is always there let's say with voltage without the current that means is the charging is already full that's why the, the cut off yeah uh, again I try to emphasize is that uh, most of the USB devices those with the Building battery uh, when it's fully charged, like this guy that's fully charged, uh, it automatically will cut off the uh, the power. Yeah. So at the end of the day, you will not overcharge the battery. Yeah. So in the migration, I would say that the migration of the old solar to the new way of doing solar, um, we need a migration plan. And this guy, the Gamma 3.0. Uh, is the migration plan yeah so uh, if you the traditional old guy not ready to you know just jump straight away a new way of doing solar you still like to you know the old way of thing uh, but you want to try out some of the new way like these guys or this USB thing uh, this is the right uh, controller to get yeah so uh, at the end of the day the migration plan will be uh, smoothly but of course, um, you're a new guy and don't believe in the old way of doing solar and basically it's like the other two videos we're showing you is with a power bank, a solar panel, 
that's about it. Yeah. So, but of course, uh, that probably takes some times uh, for you guys to you know uh, absorb it and uh, change your culture, change your mindset, and then uh, then moving forward. Yeah. Um, thanks for watching uh, this part of this product um, brief product demonstration. Uh, if you do have questions and. Uh, Please do give us a call or you know drop us an email. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna plug in this guy. Uh, basically, it's a one meter. All right. So uh, now it's not on. All I need to do is just press the button here. All right. So now you can see that you got the voltage up. Uh, but let's say if you have, uh, you know, without the device, you want to plug in. Uh, then you plug into the, you know, the socket. Yeah. So this guy probably light up. Cool, right? So you don't want to use it. You can off it. Yeah. So then let's say you want to use this for lighting, just plug this guy in. Alright, uh, let's see how it goes. Alright, just turn it on. Yep. So you don't want to use it off it. Yeah. Then let's say you want to you know charge your Xiaomi uh, power bank, just plug it in, uh, like charge. And you see this guy is charging. Yeah, so can you see the blinking? Yep, charging. Alright, so uh, of course this is the bulb, uh, like I mentioned many times, it's going to be the future of uh, light, it's because it's wireless. Uh, let's say if you do need to charge it, uh, you can, you know, just plug it in and charge it, yeah. So, uh, let's say you need it, don't need it, yeah. so, a ventilation fan, like this guy, my favorite, look nice, uh, big size. Uh, what you can do is, let's say you have this USB stuff, um, just plug it in. Alright, um, come on. Sometimes it's very hard. Ah, got it. Alright, turn it on. So once it's on, uh, you know, put it on. Here you go. This is, uh, you can set the speed that you like. Uh, can you hear the sound? So you can spec. Uh, got some uh, LED light during the night, yeah. But um, this is a very affordable, you know, fan. Uh, you can use it off grid. Uh, why? It's cool. Is because uh, it doesn't consume a lot of power, yeah. So for example, um, I can you know off the charging of the power bank and off everything. I just you know look at the fan. Uh, you see, right now if I put full power, uh, that is, uh, this is uh, speed 1, second speed, and third speed, yeah, so this is the most powerful speed. It only consumes roughly about uh, 0.29 or 0.28 M, so basically is uh, the way they consume power is very, very little, yeah, so uh, don't like to use it, okay, yeah. So, I uh, hope you understand uh, how useful the Gamma 3.0 is and uh, you know start to use it and uh, on your migration plan and you will probably will love it yeah thanks